two of series five of Master League Story Mode. Oh dear, the last episode was, yeah, not great, not great at all. Uh, Liverpool had clawed back a little bit of ground on Manchester City, who lost two in a row. And now we've allowed them to take a seven point lead ahead of us in the league. So we need to win both games today in the league. But it doesn't get easier as we start with a Merseyside derby. Let's just get straight into it. Not much else to discuss. Nothing like the taste of victory. Well, we've sort of forgotten what that tastes like at the moment. I think we might be three without a win. There's Marcelo Bielsa giving it the personal touch. Chatting to his captain there, Fabinho. He needs a good game today. We need good games from a lot of players in this side who've been underperforming. No less so than the little Egyptian, Mohamed Salah. And uh, long-time commenter, Kakarot, who's always there with some good advice, suggested that if he's having trouble getting involved, that we should switch him to a second striker when in possession. And I agree. I think we'll give it a go. We'll see how we fare there. Lots of blue arrows. Everyone well up for this. That is encouraging. Team spirit up to 86 at the moment. Did that go down slightly when I changed that? No. Okay. So, yeah. Looking pretty good. Navi Kate has been excellent. Um, Linkovic Savage. I'm starting to wonder whether he was the right player. I'm starting to think I'm glad we only got him on a loan. I think it's maybe his lack of explosive power and maybe slight lack of speed that is holding him back. But great in the air. Strong. Good finisher. If we can get him into goal scoring positions he will continue to put them away Dybala has been pretty dependable in front of goal and Pavard could argue maybe Diop would be the right player to put in today up against Divock Origi who's a powerful centre forward but I think we'll keep it as it is obviously Divock Origi no, now at Everton of course after being sold by Leeds to Everton for us to buy who did we buy Lookman from Everton so Marcelo Bielsa knows him well. Another player in today who we know very well, Kieran Dowell. The smiling assassin there. Huge fan favourite from Series 3 of Master League Story Mode, I think it was. He became world class. I haven't quite seen it from him in real life, but I'm still hoping. Anyway, let's get into this. So the Merseyside derby, always an exciting one, as the grounds are so close together. Only a mile apart. Goodison Park and Anfield, basically neighbours. Uh, and that'll be the case for all the fans here today as well. You know, these will be... There'll be household split along blue and red lines all in the crowd today. Uh, the bragging rights at work the next day. That's what's on the line here. Not only do we massively need a win, but we would love to beat our local rivals. It is a fierce derby, obviously hotly contended. It doesn't quite have the vitriol of, say, the United-Liverpool derby. Two rival cities against each other. Again, this is also known as the friendly derby as it is split down the middle in the city but okay I mean a win today absolutely crucial for Marcelo Bielsa we're still in theory fighting on three fronts but the uh, Champions League and Premier League front looking a little dicey at the moment we massively need the three points oh Sessegnon does well Savic now out to Mane back into Milinkovic Savic he's got two to aim for one's Dybala at the far post and there he is Paolo Dybala beating Digne to that I think and it was good work from Milinkovic Savic just lofted it up to the far post and Dybala was there to accept it. Let's take another look here. Good work from Sessegnon. Smart play there between Mane and Savic. Just time to look up. 21 Savic grabs the assist. And the Argentinian number 10 gets another goal for him this season. He's racking them up and that's a crucial goal in a big game. Well, Davis away from Sessegnon. Sessegnon's made up the ground well. That's not a bad ball though. To find Walcott. Trent's across here. Back to Richarlison. Everton looking to strike back here. It's fallen to Origi. Fabinho. Great intervention there. Crucial. Oh no. Sessegnon's been done by the Walcott 1-2. Sessegnon, good cover. Really good covering tackle. But Coleman's got it back. Real danger here. But Sessegnon's in again. Bit between his teeth today. And now he'll look to launch the break here. Sessegnon plays in Dybala. Keen, great challenge. Fuck's sake. Half time nearly upon us here, and Origi will take it into the corner. Shepherded by Pavard, but he's got away from him far too easily. Pavard shows great determination to get back, but danger still a problem here as Richarlison puts it into the side netting. As I said, first half nearly over. I think that might be the first or second shot from Everton. Pavard did pretty well. To pay attention to Origi there. It's always going to be difficult for Richarlison from that angle. And that is half-time here at Goodison, and it has been an uninspiring Merseyside derby. 
Very few chances from either side. In fact, Everton yet to uh, register a shot on target. We've had two. Crucially, Dybala pops up with a headed goal early on. Just to settle the nerves here. But this is far from one. We really need to uh, press on in the second half. Can't take our foot off the gas at all. Let's do this. Trent now brings it forward. Salah's made a clever run. Oh, he's got the better of Digne. We'll put it in with the right foot. Dybala's there again. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that's really unlucky. I was thinking that was going to be unlucky for Pickford. But obviously something is shining on him today because he got away with that somehow. Dybala lofts it in, looking for Mo Salah. Digne does well, but Salah's nicked it back off him. What a finish that is. What a finish. Now, I don't want to put this all down to his change of position. I'm sure it can't be that simple, but we asked for goals from the magic little Egyptian. And there we are. Well, he uh, put in a word with the big man, and he's repaid him there. And that is a very clever finish on his weaker foot as well. Dybala just put it into an area. Digne has got to be stronger there. He's got to be more decisive at least. And uh, yeah, Mo Salah, lovely finish. Really difficult angle. Probably the last thing you'd expect from him there. It's a right-footed effort. I suppose he didn't really have many other options, but he's put it right across Pickford. And that sees us two goals up here. That's a really poor bit of distribution there. Oh, Dybala, what a ball into Naby Keita. He'll square it now for Savage. Coleman is there and does really, really well. Oh, Davis will beat Bernardo to this. Lays it back. That's a poor ball from the midfielder. And now we've got a dangerous counter-attacking opportunity here. If Savage can find Mo Salah, and he can. Salah now. Keenan Dinia with him. Salah cuts inside. Looks to curl it. Pickford, huge save there. And Coleman can only put it wide. We're piling on the pressure. We want a third. We want to kill this one off. So Vitinho and Moreno coming on now for a tired Sessegnon and uh, Savic. Well, he's been okay. I'm starting to worry about him as a choice, but did all right. Got the assist today anyway. Oh, but Balassi, that's unlucky. <sighs> Pavard gets there. We can get it clear. Everton putting together some good passes here. Only five minutes left. They need something soon. They're going to find a way back into this game. And uh, Moreno could have just handed them something there. Arigi is through. Awful clearance from Alberto Moreno. Came on to uh, give the tired legs of Sessegnon a bit of a rest. But he just panicked there. That was classic Moreno. And now we've made these last few minutes just that little bit more nerve-wracking. Oh, Trent. Lovely ball through to the Ox. Steps inside. Finds Dybala. Good first touch. Jerry Mina. That's a strong challenge. Now Everton will come forward knowing that a good ball here could find him through. No one responding to that. What the fuck are we doing? Balassi's effort. Oh, he's saved. Some very tired legs there or something wrong, but no one fancied following that. We've just about got away with that. Jesus Christ. Got to be running till the very last minute in this game. I know Balassi had fresh legs, but we were almost embarrassed there if it wasn't for the save from Allison. We deserved the win today. We were the better side. We could have finished it off. We didn't. Uh, Mo Salah on a blue, unsurprisingly, scored a good goal. Did Bala as well. Had a crucial header to open things up. I mean, six is the lowest in the rating. It does suggest we played quite well. So we'll take the positives rather than maybe not being clinical when it came to goal scoring and then allowing them back in. But yeah, we'll, we'll glass half full on this one, I think. And there we are. How did City get on? Oh, Leeds losing 3-0 to Fulham. That's tough. United win and as do Manchester City. They scrape a 1-0 over Wolves. Where are our Wolves? Oh yeah, they're 10th. They're they drop down. Still that seven point gap. Hmm. So there we are. Dybala's increasing. I'm sure he just decreased a few days ago, but oh no, what? What? Okay, whatever. Nice long break now. We invite Newcastle to Anfield. Let's make it six out of a possible six points. So let's take a look at the sides for today. It was certainly complacency in the last episode that cost us against Huddersfield. It was a game we should have been winning. Uh, Cater out today, so the Ox will replace him there. It's a fairly simple swap. Everyone else looks okay, if slightly poor form. Newcastle five at the back. Oh yeah, I remember this side. Iosi Perez up top. The only real danger. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So here we are back at Anfield. It is a lovely stadium. I can't remember whether this has been licensed. I don't think. Are Liverpool licensed for 2020? I'm not sure. But it's great to play here. It's always good to be 
finishing the series at a licensed club, you really get the full match day experience. Right, let's do this. Let's dispatch Newcastle. Let's have a nice positive episode to make up for the last one and we can all go home happy. Come on. Oh, great work for Benio. Now the Ox, away from Shelby. Hits one with the left. Oh, we've not had him score a goal yet this season. Great opportunity there. Hit it well. Good save. Corner into the box from Trent. Savage is there. Powerful header onto the roof of the net. We do need to be looking for the big lad. Whenever we can, he is certainly our aerial threat. Not far off. Dybala into the Ox, who's looked good so far. Steps away from Tarantino. Salah's made a good run, but so has Trent here into the box. Low ball across to Dybala. That's nice. That is good. Better. All of the positive words there. And Dybala just keeps finding the back of the net. He's just in the right place at the right time. You don't need spectacular finishes in this Liverpool side because they will pick you apart and they will find a tap in. Trent's done really well there. Great run coming in from his wing. And Dybala with a tap in there. He hasn't scored any particularly impressive goal. Oh no, he's got a couple of good ones, but he's already scored a lot of goals and that is the key. We are certainly after quantity over quality when it comes to goals. And now Trent again will bring it forward. Back to Savage. Not the best ball, but Savage unleashes hell. Actually a fairly comfortable save in the end. Good ball over the top into Murphy, but that'll be no issue at all for Bernardo. Now Sadio Mane inside to Milinkovic Savic. Skips away from Lascelles, onto the left. Again, it's straight at the keeper. We're creating chances. Oh, Shelby, that's a clever ball to Tarantino. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 don't do this. Perez. Oh, just get it away. Jesus Christ. Salah into Savic. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? And there we are. I mean, much like the Everton game, we've not been brilliant, but we've been better than Newcastle. No doubt about that. Once again, we need to finish things off in this second half. We cannot allow Newcastle a chance to draw this level. We need all three. Come on. Ah, oh, Trent, that's beautiful. Leaves DeAndre Yedlin sprawling and Dybala is there to head home. Trent with the great work. Look at that move back inside of Yedlin, who is sprawling, thinking, I need to go back to America. I think MLS might be for me. Broken ankles there. And then Trent, as ever, pinpoint accuracy on the cross. Dybala peels away from Hayden, heads home. His second-headed goal in two games. And you feel now this game could be well beyond Newcastle's reach. Going up against five at the back, all we really need to do is score one. Now we've scored two. Can't see them getting anything out of this game. Murphy, that's a great ball into Mutu. He's through here. Pavard is there. It's a good save in the end. Newcastle. That might be their first shot on target. Might be their first shot of the game. 65 minutes in. Not the time we want to be allowing them away back into this one. Shelby will whip it in here. Murphy's unmarked. Heads over. Oh, ball over to Muto. He's going to get to this ahead of Fabinho. Through here. Oh, no. No, no, no. If Jung just released the ball there. If he pulled the trigger, could have been an open goal. But in the end, it's wide. And Newcastle's few chances squandered. Only seven minutes left. We should have this one all wrapped up now. And there we are. That's the comfortable 2-0 win we're after. Another two for Paolo. And another three points for us. Can't ask for more than that. It's exactly what you'd expect in terms of possession. Shots on target. The split between that against... Newcastle away from home. It's all good. Dybala, another good performance. Savage with a four. I mean, what do you need to... I mean, he lost the ball a lot. He did lose the ball a lot. I think it's mainly because I'm trying stuff with him that just doesn't work because he doesn't have the explosiveness in that attacking midfield position that I'm used to. I like a little man there. Maybe Salah's the right player for that spot. Savage is probably still good enough. He has contributed, but anyway. Good news here. Manchester City dropping points. Get on. And United winning, that's fine. And Leeds winning, yes, 4-1 against Palace. They stay in fifth. They are dropping, though. But we are now only five points behind Manchester City. We're just sneaking up, just sneaking up on them. And there we are, Dybala back up to 87. I don't understand what's going on there, but he is now El Pistolero. And that sort of makes sense out of some of the weird nicknames that we've had. That seems like a pretty fair one. And look at this, what's happened here? Something good has happened. Mo Salah is a maestro. I mean, that's obvious, isn't it? Anyway, 
good training effects, captain, teammates, yeah, it's not a particularly useful one, is it? So there we have it. Let's just quickly see what our schedule is looking like. So we've got a crucial game in the next episode, followed by Brighton and City in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And then how many games have we got left in the league? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six games in the league. Well, seven, including Brighton. Manchester City have got that lead on us. They'll need to drop points. We can't drop any. We've got huge games in the Cups to come. It's all going to come to an interesting crescendo, hopefully. We're still in all of the uh, competitions that we want to be. So, yeah. Join me in the next episode. It's only going to get more exciting. I'll see you in a bit.